Hi, I'm Joy. It has been another five months since my last update on our condo community charger project. Yes, this project is still ongoing and no, we still do not have the chargers installed as of mid-August 2024. It sounds crazy, but this project has entered its third year since our HOA initiated it when I was the president of the board. However, I wanted to provide an update to let you know that things are actually heading into the right direction this time, and we are inching forward toward the final goal. In the last episode of this series, episode 11, we left off at end of February when the infrastructure preliminary design was finally being approved by SCE. We were told that we should get the design review for approval by end of March. On April 1st, I reached out to SCE and asked about the design approval. The next day, our project manager replied that the design had been going back and forth with their review team to make necessary updates for their manager's approval. He was expecting the design to be approved by the end of that week. A week later, on April 9th, we received an email asking us to log on into the SCE Charger Rebate Project portal to review and approve the preliminary design that included engineered infrastructure drawings and specifications on power feed design. This was a very exciting news because it meant that this project was finally moving toward on-site implementation, updating our electricity grid to accommodate for EV chargers. Keep in mind that our condo community was built in 1973, so the grid is very old. And as I mentioned in previous episodes, the transformer is hooked up in an unconventional manner that needed SCE to figure out a way to update it. On that same day, SCE told us that the next step after we approved the preliminary design was for their architectural and engineering firm to proceed with final design and then submit it for permits. Once the final design is completed, SCE would be working on submitting an easement request in parallel. We were told that it would take the A&E firm about two weeks to wrap up the final design and be ready to submit for permitting. Additionally, permitting depends on the jurisdiction timing and the process could take eight to 12 weeks from the submittal date before SCE could receive the approved permit. Once they have the final design and can submit it for easement, it would take another four to six weeks before we could review and approve the easement. However, both can happen in tandem once SCE receives the approved final design. Now the ball is really rolling. Then a little over a month later on May 17th, I checked in with SCE on the permitting and easement request progress, but didn't hear back until about two weeks later. On May 29th, we heard from SCE requesting approval for the grant of easement and drawing of easement for the charger location. The very next day, we had the document signed and notarized and returned to SCE. In parallel, SCE told us their A&E firm was working on getting the permit. Once they have the permits along with our executed easement, they could then prioritize switch gear and have a better idea on when the switch gear can be delivered to the general contractor who will be working on site for the infrastructure upgrade. By the way, if you are in the market to sell or buy a secondhand EV, check out recurrentauto.com and get insights into real world range of your used EV before you make a deal. 
I have my 2018 Tesla Model 3 connected to their platform and I log on each month to check my free report on how my Model 3's battery is performing and what the current market value of my Model 3 is if I ever decide to sell it. Recurrent partners with many car dealerships around the country providing this free report to consumers so you won't be left in the dark on whether or not you will be purchasing a secondhand EV lemon. So log on to recurrentauto.com today and get your free report and see how your EV is performing. Okay, another two months went by and I checked in with SE again on July 22nd for an update. They replied on the 23rd telling us that the easement clearance has been received from a land and right of way service company called Spectrum Land Services and it is now pending permit from the city and delivery of switch gear to the general contractor. So, yay! but not so fast. SCE doesn't expect the switch gear to be delivered towards the end of Q4 this year, which means the infrastructure upgrade wouldn't take place on site until next year, 2025, before we could finally install the Blink Level 2 chargers that we have already purchased per their charge ready rebate requirement that have been sitting in our storage for the last two years. As for the permit, the city told SCE that they needed a letter of authorization on the HOA letterhead from us. So we quickly sent over the necessary document the next day to be submitted. And by the way, SCE told us they were changing the project manager on us yet again. So we are now working with a third project manager on this case. And the wait continues. This is the latest update on our community EV charger project. I now bump into other residents who have been asking me about the progress of this project as more and more neighbors are switching to EVs in our community. I hope I will have the next update for you by year end. Fingers crossed. Thank you very much for watching this video and tracking along with me on this painfully long journey to get level two community chargers installed at our 51 year old condo complex. I will see you in the next video and God bless you.